Hey guys, it's pretty cold and windy out here, but I'm trying to get out of the way because uh, Richie's working inside. I don't want to be too noisy. If you haven't seen my lives recently, check out this amazing view. So, today I wanted to talk about, maybe I should go inside, it's a bit cold. <laughs> Hey Zaina, how are you going? I'm gonna go into my room so I'm not being noisy. Hey Jodine, how are you? Who else we got on? Say hi and where you're watching from in the world. So, wanted to talk about filling, kind of fixing, um, leaks hey Priyanka how are you um, fixing leaks in your business and personal life to be able to grow now we can have these leaks going on and either not be aware of it or not realize how much importance it has and we try and build um, something bigger when there's all these gaps and if you imagine a bucket and this bucket has holes in the bottom of it and you're pouring all this new stuff in you're pouring and pouring and pouring and it's all just leaking out of the bottom and if there's just a few little holes maybe some of it stays in the bucket but there's still things leaking out and we don't want to do that we want to be able to build a solid foundation and when you build a solid foundation, to give you another analogy, you can build a really strong, secure, stable building. Okay. When we don't have a solid foundation, we're building on an unstable ground and you build up and up and up and it's a bit wobbly and then it all comes crashing down. Right. So, um, uh, thanks, Zaina. I did it myself. It's like, <laughs> um, Oh, it's raining, Jodine, is it? Um, so Zane is in New Jersey. Where's everyone else? Hey, Belinda. Hey. Oh, I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. T-H-A-B-I-T. -T. Let me know how to say your name. Um, hey, Eric. Hey, Rich. How's everyone going? Tell me where you're at in the world. I'm in South Australia at the moment, in Adelaide, in Australia. Um, so we want to be able to fill these holes, fill these gaps and build a solid foundation. Now, where some of these gaps can show up in your life. Number one is when we're looking at your five pillars of health. Now, this is something I created. Um, the five pillars of health are your exercise, your sleep, your water, your self-care and your food. Now, if we have gaps in any of these areas, um, you're not going to have the energy you need, the health you need, the fitness you need, the mental function you need, and you're not going to be able to manage your emotions to be able to show up as the true inspiring leader who I know you are and you know who you are as well. And, you know, when you're eating crap, when you're not getting enough sleep, when you're not looking after yourself and putting yourself first, when you're tired and run down and all of these things, it makes running a business and managing your emotions and life so much harder and you can easily snap at other people you can easily make poor decisions you can easily feel unmotivated and distracted and not be as productive as possible so filling the gap number one with your five pillars of health looking at those five key areas to be able to build your energy um, be super productive and show up as the leader who um, you're meant to be Number two is looking at any money blocks. So looking at making sure you're tracking a budget, um, a business budget, a personal budget, um, looking at where you could be losing or wasting money um, and fixing that up. And then looking at where you could be bringing more money in as well. Um, if you don't have this in place, you're bringing more money in, but you're not managing your money effectively. So as more money comes in, more money goes out. And you're just constantly hustling and pushing and working hard to make more money, but then putting it all back out there. Yeah. 
So looking at that area will not only allow you to make more money, but be able to manage your money to create true long term wealth and not just have an amazing lifestyle where you're just blowing all this money and then looking back and going, shit, did I really spend 50 grand on food this year? <laughs> you know, just as an example. Hey, Kitty, how you going? Hey, Kyle. Hey, Ashley. Who else we got on? Hey, Sarah. Hey, Dawn. Cool. Lots of people on. Hey, Liz, how are you? So they're the first two, your five pillars of health and then your money. And then the other one is your relationships. So this is your intimate relationship. So if you've got a partner, it's your relationship with your family members, um, with your friends, with your team and with your clients and any mentors as well. So any relationships in your life. Now, if there's people from your past that you haven't forgiven, if there's people who you maybe had an argument with and it's unresolved, if there's um, something that's some kind of conflict or miscommunication with your partner, if your team aren't feeling supported or you're not feeling supported by your team, if your children aren't in a good routine and they're just chaos and yelling and arguing all the time, um, if you've had some kind of family dispute or maybe you're not catching up with friends often enough and you're lacking connection, maybe you don't have boundaries in your relationships. Maybe there's some toxic relationships going on. Um, maybe you're hanging around people who are full of drama or negativity. Your relationships play a really key role. And when you've got your personal relationships sorted and you've, you're working on, you know, forgiving, letting go, um, having boundaries and not getting caught up in drama, then you have so much more energy. And you're able to focus on your business and bring in amazing things. Now, when you're sorted in your relationships, you're able to show up as a leader. The, the words that you speak, the stories that you tell, you're not standing up and ranting and bitching and moaning. You're actually giving valuable, amazing advice and information uh, and really showing up as a leader who can help people rather than being stuck in your own bullshit, basically. Now, when your personal relationships and your business relationships have a solid foundation, it's easier for you to show up without the drama, without the energy leakages. And when you're able to do that, you're able to find amazingly supportive team that have your back no matter what. And you're able to attract in your ideal clients um, because your clients are just like you. So if you're the person that's stuck in the past, that's not forgiving, that's not letting go, that doesn't have strong boundaries, you're going to attract that in with your clients and then wonder why they're doing those things um, in your relationship. So you attract in who you are. So heal that stuff, have um, boundaries and structure around it, and then you'll create that in your business and your personal life as well. Jodine says law of attraction when we're manifesting money, is it on focus on uh, cash being deposited or is it giving value to people and receiving payment for it? Yeah. So good question. Thank you. And if anyone else has any other comments or questions, please pop them here and I'll answer them as we go along. If you're watching the replay, I'll answer them later on. Uh, so yeah. So when we are manifesting money, I think I think what we put out there, we do get back. And if we have a positive mindset as well, then that coupled with strategy and action equals results. We can't just sit here going, I want a hundred thousand dollars or I want a million dollars. Oh, why is it not happening? We've got to go take action, right? It makes sense. So, uh, that's the first thing on that. Now I think you can focus on both, but both of them are related. The more value you give, the more money you make. Okay. So if you're waking up every day and thinking, how can I help more people today? What value can I give? Um, how can I show up today and help people with something? Then you're going to get an exchange of money for that. Now, not every little thing that you do is going to cost something. For example, I'm giving value here on this live stream. This may then turn into having a connection with someone and them reaching out and saying that they want to do um, some work with me. It may just be me giving value today and may not eventuate into any of that. And that's okay. 
because every little thing we do doesn't mean, hey, I'm showing up today so I deserve to get paid for that. It all adds up over time. And that might be that day, that week, that month or that year, but we just consistently show up. Now, if we have the view in our head of, well, I've got to do these live streams because I've got to make money or I've got to jump on sales calls because I need to pay my bills. That's coming from a place of scarcity and desperation, and it's thinking all about you, and it's not thinking about the people you can help. So it's letting go of that stuff, realizing it's not about you, and showing up for the people that you want to help because you genuinely care about people. And for me, I know I was sitting behind my laptop the other day, and I was like, (laughs) I was like, who can I help? I had this moment where I was like, I don't feel like anyone needs my help right now. What can I do? Because I just want to help someone right now. And so I put some posts up saying, hey, what can I help you with today? And I PM'd some people and I jumped on a live stream and I did all these things where I was like, where's my people? Who can I help today? Because ever since I was a little girl, I've genuinely just wanted to help people and wanted to change people's lives. And you know, if you've gone through something in your life where you've overcome it and you've healed that wound, where you've worked on you know, forgiveness or self-worth or you've paid off debt or you've built a successful business or you've lost weight or um, you've overcome emotional eating or whatever it is, then I believe that that's your gift. I believe that you have something amazing within you to be able to share with the world and help someone who is in that position you were at a few months or a few years or however long ago. It's your duty to show up and help people because you've overcome that, you've healed that, and you're exactly the right person to help other people with that. Thanks for the love, uh, Zaina, and anyone else who's loving this, please, please share as well. Thanks, Jodine. So um, when you do that, when you come from that place, you're like, how can I be of service? How can I give value? How can I help people today? It's no use up here in your head. You've got to share that with the world, whether it's in a live stream, a video, creating a course, writing a post, jumping on an interview, um, whatever it is, share your story, share your message and reach out and help people. Um, I hope that helps answer your question, Jodine. So uh, I'll say hi to a few people. Hey, Zach. Hey, Fiona. How are you guys going? So the three things I've covered so far, thanks Belinda, um, three things I've covered so far around filling these, these gaps and these leaks is around your five pillars of health, which is exercise, food, self-care, water, and sleep. And then we've got uh, your relationships. And then the, oh, I think I did these out of order, but then we've got your money as well. Um, the next one is around your time. Okay, so looking at where you're spending your time, looking at where you're wasting time, where you could save time, looking at what are the highest priority tasks for you to be doing, and then anything else, either delete it, delegate it, or automate it. Okay, because sometimes not everything you think you need to do is actually important and priority right now, and maybe it's something you never need to do. Maybe it's something someone else could help you with, and maybe it's something that you could automate because it doesn't actually need to be done manually, okay? So filling up any time leakages, which connects into the boundaries and the relationship stuff as well. Um, But for example, say you can pay a cleaner $20 or $30 an hour, um, depending on where you live in the world, Um, might be less, might be more. Say you can pay a cleaner that, and say you get paid, 100, 200, 500 or whatever dollars an hour, is it worth your time cleaning the house when you could be making money, coaching people, training people, supporting people? Um, Maybe you're not even using that time to do actual, uh, give your service to someone, but maybe you're creating a program. Maybe you're in your zone of genius where you're really inspired and thinking about the bigger picture rather than scrubbing the floors. So you've got to think about What are those areas that you can delete, delegate, or um, automate to be able to focus on the highest priority tasks? And really looking at what is my highest priority right now? If you're having issues with cash flow, if you don't have enough clients, sales is number one. Sales is king or queen, 
<laughs> um, and then secondly is, is marketing, um, generating leads, connecting with people, giving value. They should be the number two every day, really, in any business. Um, and then you can add on from there. Don't waste your time doing little bits and pieces that feel important, but they're really not. Um, what are you stuck specifically on, Zayna? Is it the time thing? Give me a bit more info. So that's that's four areas, and I could go on and on. There's more, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. That's that's plenty of things. I want to know if anyone has any comments, questions. I'll wait for Zayna to pop more info here as well. Um, but let me know what's the biggest thing you got out of this. Where are you at at the moment? Is there anything that you need help with? Feel free to comment here. Hey, Jules, how are you going? And uh, I'm just going to read Zayna's comment here. I'm happy to say I'm handling the five pillars of health where I'm out of whack fitness tomorrow and I've been working on all the others. Awesome. Well done. The time thing and knowing what to focus on. Exactly what you're talking about. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so like I said, the biggest things to focus on in business is sales and marketing. Um, so looking at you know, where can you bring in more money? Do you need to jump on some sales calls? Do you need to send some personal messages? Do you need to create a webinar? Um, do you need to do some live streams or some kind of content? How can you connect with people either online or offline? Maybe doing some podcast interviews, jumping into um, people's groups. <laughs> awesome, awesome, cool. So just showing up every day with your sales and your marketing is key. Now, the other thing that ties into this is looking at the big picture and working backwards from there. So looking at what is, what's your annual goals? Where do you want to be in 12 months time? And then looking at, you know, there's an income goal, there's key big projects that you have going on and work backwards from there. So looking at the annual, then what needs to happen in the next quarter? What needs to happen in the next month? What needs to happen in the next week? What needs to happen today? And when you have that in place, you're thinking big picture, you're connected to the bigger picture. You're not just waking up every day going, oh, what should I do today? Um, but you're connected to that big picture and then you've broken it down into simple steps so it's not overwhelming as well. Does that help, Zaina? Hey, Anthony, how are you going? And then who else have we got here? If I haven't said your name, it's because it's not showing up. Hey, Alex, how are you? Um, so... You know, what was really exciting for me last night, I stayed up till like 1.32 a.m. talking with um, Richie, my partner, and he literally got everything out of my head that I've been trying to figure out for months. And, you know, it's not ideal staying up that late. I do like to get to bed earlier, and I have been a little bit tired today, but I've still been getting on with things and just going with the flow, getting some work done, but having time for myself as well. And we literally... Um, got, got, he pulled everything out of my head and mapped it out on paper of a program that I've been brewing on for a while. And I'm so excited with this program. It's basically, I had a program called Six Figure System last year, which was an amazing program. And it's a similar kind of structure as that, but total different thing. Now, I'm not going to give too much away, but if you'd like to be on the waiting list to find out more information about this, please give me a yes here and I'll keep you in the loop. But to give you a little teaser and taster for now, it's basically around the mindset and strategy that you need to be able to be a leader, position yourself as an expert and the go-to person in your industry, and how you can actually step out of the business to create a business that runs without you. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to do any work, but if you want to go on a holiday, if you want to travel, if you want to have someone running the day-to-day -day stuff and you're thinking about the bigger picture, if you want to have an amazing lifestyle and have recurring income, um, then that's what I'm talking about. And it's like the, the, lead, um, the mindset of a leader, um, building self-awareness and self-worth, stopping the pedestal and imposter syndrome and so much more. That's I probably gave away a bit more than I was going to. Um, but if you want to find out more, if you want to be on the waiting list to find out more about this, give me a yes here and uh, I will keep you in the loop with what's going on. And um, yeah, that's all I'm going to mention for now. Um, yeah, awesome, Jules. Glad you jumped on. 
Good to see you. Uh, hey, Les, how are you going? Hey, Tim, how are you? So, Jodine, any, any other questions, guys? Pop them here. Thanks for the questions and all the loves and the interaction. I'm loving this. Um, so, Jodine said, where's the best place to find a structure layout on the time management? Um, I do have that for my clients. I don't really want to <laughs> give it away. Um, but but um, do you mean on like tracking your time or the goals thing that I was talking about? Just let me know which one, Jodine. And just so you guys know as well, I have, um, I had a masterclass, a, a webinar training recently that a lot of people, almost a hundred people asked for. Some people got to view it and then I had some issues, um, where don't want to give too much info. <laughs> I don't want to bitch. Um, basically I had a marketing, marketing team working for me and, uh, they deleted all of my stuff. So I'm having to recreate it. And um, so I'm thinking of doing this free webinar live. Um, let me know like who would love to see that live and um, just say like live webinar or um, because I'm going to put that together um, sometime soon as well. And it's about overcoming your abundance blocks and building a, a mindset of success. Um, cool, Jodine. So just giving all the value today. Um, so you can do for your time, you can do a time study where you track your time for a week and literally write out like in 15 or 30 minute blocks through the day what you're spending your time on. So like sleeping, toilet, um, scrolling Facebook or whatever it is um, and literally track it for a whole week. Now, it might seem a bit tedious, but it really does make a massive difference. Um, so that's that one. Now with the planning, you can um, put, put it in an Excel spreadsheet and look at um, basically for 12 months, um, writing out what your goals are and then working backwards from there on, um, on your, uh, what's it called? Quarterly, uh, so annual, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and daily. Cool. Awesome, guys. Okay, well, I'll do that live webinar ASAP as well. Um, see if I can get it together over the next week. If not, it'll be in a couple of weeks time because I'm traveling back to London and Portugal at the end of next week. You're welcome, Jodine. Um, now, one more piece of value. I had my Mindset Mastery course last week at a discounted price. Um, with that webinar training and because it's been a bit of a muck around and um, people haven't received some people haven't received the training I would like to give it at the discounted rate um, till the end of this week so I'll extend that for you guys I haven't mentioned that to anyone but I'm mentioning it now just had an idea it's only 47 Aussie dollars which is nothing it's normally 197 it's 20 videos and it helps you to um, understand how your brain works, um, overcome triggers and obstacles, overcome anxiety, fear, overwhelm, uh, manage your emotions, overcome limiting beliefs, um, and really understand how your brain works and how to deal with any triggers and things going on in your life. So if you'd like to grab that for only $47, um, say yes, mindset mastery here, or send me a personal message and I'll shoot you through the link for that. Um, I wasn't going to do that, but I want to, I want to give you guys all the value today. Um, so before I go, does anyone have any further questions, comments on any of this? I'll give a recap. If anyone jumped on towards the end, go back and watch the start and please share this around as well. I'd love more people to see this and get some value, um, to give you a recap on filling the gaps. It's looking at your five pillars of health. It's looking at your money situation. It's looking at your relationships. And then it's looking at, what was the last one? Your time. <laughs> and there's so much more, but these are the four main ones that will literally transform your life. So um, if you're looking at those four core areas and filling in those gaps and those leakages, you're really going to build a solid foundation that gives you a solid ground and some stability to grow something massive. 
If you don't have that solid foundation, you're going to be bringing new clients in when you've got no energy and mindset issues going on. You're going to be bringing in money, but then spending it because you're not managing your money. Um, You're going to be bringing in a new relationship to your life, but you've still got wounds and blocks and you're not able to receive love and you're going to push them away. See how you can literally manifest and create and take action and attract anything into your life that you want through having a positive mindset and and releasing the things that aren't serving you and then taking action and knowing the strategy. But if you don't have these things in place, you're going to push it all away. And you're going to see that there's people in front of you that want to help you and you're going to push them away as well. And you're going to get triggered and you're going to get upset and emotional and you're going to stay stuck in the emotion for too long when there's all these amazing people and support and opportunities all around you. Yeah. So do the inner work, find the strategy, fill these four blocks, um, and then you'll be able to attract in amazing things and not just attract them in, but actually hold on to them and keep them and see, like have gratitude for the amazingness um, in your life. Now, when you don't do this again, you could be in the most amazing house overlooking the sea like I am now. You could have the most amazing relationship. You could have the most supportive team. You could have the most amazing clients. You could have so much money in your bank account, more than you've ever had, and you can still be depressed or unhappy or ungrateful. So turn all this around and you can be anywhere in the world. You can have all this shit being thrown at you and feel like the world is taking a shit on you and just be like, ah, whatever, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the lessons. You know, I had my whole funnel deleted this week. I've had shit that I can't even share right now that like could have broken me this week. I've had a lot of shit going on and I'm like, okay. I could get overly emotional. I could just lay in bed crying and watching Netflix. I could get angry. I could blame. I could justify. I could feel like I'm a victim and this is all happening to me. Um, But instead, I decided not to go to that place. And it's okay to have a cry and it's okay to get angry, but don't stay there. Because when you stay there, you get unmotivated. You get uninspired. You feel like nothing's working. You hold yourself back and you settle and you give your power and your control away to other people. So when you step into a place of like, oh, okay, this, th- this stuff's happening, but it's not happening to me. It's happening for me. What are the positives? Do I want to be angry? Do I want to stomp my feet for a minute? Do I want to have a cry? And then, okay, that's enough. Get back on with it. Okay. And when you do that, and I'm speaking from personal experience, yeah, of my things I've gone through over the last couple of weeks um, and just life in general, you know, everyone goes through it. And so I've noticed these things. I've noticed where my brain wants to go at times and I've decided not to go there. And I've been like, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you that this is happening in my life because I choose to let this stuff fire me up. I choose to let this connect me to my purpose and my why and give me more inspiration and motivation to create more and change more lives and change my life even more. I use this as inspiration to give everything that I want to my kids and create an even better life than what I already have. And I give gratitude for where I'm at and for the people in my life, the the shitty situations and the good stuff as well. Okay, I actually did a podcast on this. Um, It should be up this week and I'll share it around with you guys when it's done. It's around, are you playing the victim without knowing it? And it's looking at four key areas. What's my thing with four this week? Um, But looking at four key areas that you can look at of like what the victim does and how you can actually turn that around and be the victor. Um, Thanks, Zaina. That's awesome. So yeah, tag your friends here, share this live stream around If you have any questions or comments, pop them here. If it's super personal and you feel like sending a personal message and letting me know what you got out of this or any questions you have or want to share where you're at, feel free to do that as well. Um, Love to support you. I'm here for you and I'd love to know um, where you're at and what you got out of this as well. So thanks for jumping on, guys. It's been awesome. I hope you have an amazing day. And um, I am going to cook let me show you some steak 
and broccolini and asparagus and corn because I need a little break before my next call. Hey Scott, how are you? You're welcome, Val. Good to see you. So yeah, if you jumped on towards the end, go back and watch the start. Please share this around. It's been awesome. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.